I've been asked to give an interview. I've been asked to give a comment or review of this interview by Channel Seven, uh, called the Cold Hard Nolan interview. Now, the point about this is that it's going to be groundbreaking. It's billed as one of the most important things that you could imagine has ever happened. Well, uh, I've noticed that there's quite a few interviews or discussions with this guy Nolan, who's a very highly qualified physicist or biologist or whatever. He's very uh, intelligent and very smart and I think the first thing he says one of the first thing he says is we've been lied to for the last 70 years plus uh, I also understand that he's been actually invited um, by the CIA to give a comment on this and, and analysis on this and the whole CIA um, disclosure thing is basically a shit show in progress uh, it's full of absolute baloney uh, but the key to it is it's steering to the 3D world analysis and Nolan is talking interdimensional here, which is possibly the most progressive thing said since Jacques Vallée. Now Jacques Vallée is really good, solid, old school science from France. He published an awful lot of books on the subject and he also had a view on many things. I won't go to that. The point about it is that the British military was training soldiers to fight an interdimensional war. They'd recovered ancient data banks, uh, exposing secrets that they all knew about in the 1950s. And because they were looking for these things in the 1950s, they knew about them, so they must have known about them in the 1930s. The non-Einsteinian physics that the Germans were using, so-called mercury engines to fly these triangular things all around the place, the so-called um, Firefly or some called them TR3B alphas and stuff like that. They used what or it has been said they used these mercury engines and mercury engines were using uh, an alchemical type um, uh, process plasma process where you have an energy field in one direction and an energy field in the other direction. If you put those uh, in the same volume in the same field space they produce scalar energetics and you've got a whole uh, part of physics which are not you're not really allowed to know about the no nolan talks about gravity the whole interview is steered to basically a level of physics that hasn't progressed since the first ufos were seen they talk about well there's a lot of ancient stuff around and they get they go on to things about religion well we all know how polluted the religious texts are and we all know how uh, political they are. And if you didn't agree with the, the with the policies of the particular religion concerned, they mur murder, torture you, or wipe out whole civilizations. So that's not a really big positive thing. The point is that we have known of multi-dimensional space, or shall we say, complex number space. The Masons use all this. We have the situation where Crowley and Jack Parsons we're talking about opening portals, the Montauk portals that was done in Zener. We have interdimensional physics involved with the megaliths. So the people who put those standing stones up seem to know an awful lot more about physics than our leading physicists do today. Our leading physicists today uh, use terms like the Big Bang, black holes, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, I forget what it is. They know, they know, the only thing they know about dark matter is that they don't know anything about it. And then they say the universe is uh, sort of comprised of like 98% dark matter. So basically, established physics is basically saying we don't know jack shit. But the people who put the standing stones up knew exactly what was going on and their portals. And the stuff that the British military recovered in the 1950s gave alignment procedures and technology to align the old terrestrial 3D portal, so to speak, in the standing stones or whatever, to line up with the actual tunnels or portal tunnels you want to mention or talk about. So in a nutshell, the CIA has uh, produced yet another turkey, a very intelligent turkey, uh, very well-mannered and uh, carefully speaking Turkey, but a Turkey nonetheless. Nothing has changed. There's nothing new being talked about. 
the furthest we get on this is the Jack Valley stuff. And then this gentleman has had his own accounts and cases. And quite honestly, I think uh, Professor John Mack was really analysing a lot of those cases and look what happened to him. So this is yet another exclusive, massively important series of interviews which are so groundbreaking that don't do anything. So that's my view. No progress, nothing new, old school, keeping you in your 3D box. You're allowed to have the dimension of time. When others are way ahead of the whole thing, I've interviewed some contactees and abductees and my lab victims, and they're able to just blink and just go anywhere in the universes. They do it naturally. We can do it naturally. We are being prevented from doing anything but just wait for the next pearl drop from the CIA, which is the Central Intelligence Agency, which was created in the in the in the nomenclature of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So we've got a bunch of individuals who consume huge amounts of money, basically making sure we don't know jack shit. And I think that's my review of this.